Hello, welcome to the instructional video about how to complete a dual enrollment or dual credit application. First of all, and very, very importantly, um, you want to make sure you're using the link that you get from your instructor. There are links on our Tungsys webpage and there are links to other types of high school programs um, that could be used. We want to make sure that you're using the correct link and that is right up here. Highlighted it right there. Um, and again, you only get that from your instructor. So when you start out, you're on the create account page and you're going to put in your first name and your last name. And Smashing Pumpkins are one of my favorite bands, so we're going to use that one. So then your email address. And you want to make sure that you type in the exact same address. So retype it um, to make sure it's accurate. There is an edit in the application that if for some reason you don't, it doesn't match, um, it will automatically tell you. So that's it's good, very good news. It helps us to get more accurate information. And for your preferred phone, uh, put in mobile. And we do recommend that you use your mobile phone. That way it is easier for us to text you or get a hold of you. We also want to make sure that you do put something in for your home phone. If you're a family that just uses mobile phone and no home phone, no problem. Just put your text, uh, your cell phone in twice. But we want both fields to be completed. You're going to click on allowing us to use your text um, to text message you just it, it makes it much easier for you to um, to be reached and be communicated with um, also another a tip is to rather than using your high school address use your personal address email address again uh, for ease of contacting you enter your date of birth and I've done a lot of test applications so okay so if your birthday is October 1st let's say it's um, whoop. and so you can slide this along you know 2004 um, October 2nd and that will populate right there um, fill in your country of origin so that's the United States for me and then I'm going to use um, I use Tungsys's, um address which is 271 you enter your home address And that's in Farmington. And that's 06032. Okay, our next step is we're going to enter your high school. So let's say you are from, let's say we're Avon High School. So we're going to say A V O N. And you'll see here that a bunch of different Avons are in the drop down. So these are Avon high schools all over the place, right? So it's Avon, New York, Avon High School, Avon High School in Massachusetts. We are Avon HS in Avon, Connecticut. So we're gonna click on that one. And do you anticipate graduating, yes or no? The month you started attending for most people is in August or September. And we're gonna say you started in 2020. And your anticipated graduation date might be usually in June, and it might be in 2023. And rather than putting in your counselor's first name, your school counselor, we're going to have you put in the instructor who is teaching your class, this um, dual credit or um, dual enrollment class. So first name is my, and then last name, instructor. And then, whoops, scrolling all over the place. Whoop. So um, I got an edit here. I obviously didn't get that date right. <laughs> and then so our counselor's email address, my instructor at test. test. And their phone number. And you want to give us a close estimate of what your GPA is. 
scroll down a little bit and let us know your high school's conversion scale. So most high schools are on a 4.0 scale. However, some use 4.5, 5.0. You select whichever one's correct for you. And for your dual enrollment or dual credit experience, you're gonna be going to Tunxis Community College. And right now we're gonna say it's the fall term, but if it's the spring term, no problem. Just select the correct term that you'll be taking the class. And for student type, you are a high school partnership or high school other. It's important we get your statuses correctly because there are a bunch, a few different programs that you could be. So you select a password that you will remember. And if you don't think you'll remember it, jot it down in a very safe spot. Check off that I'm not a robot and create your account. Okay, terrific. And you'll know you're in the right place. You will see your first name up in the corner. And you also see there is a drop down there um, where you can change the password if you need to. And at the end of our application, we'll be signing out. So you are on the personal tab. You'll, you're going to notice that a lot of your information from the create account page has been moved over to the application, which is really convenient. It's it's much, maybe much quicker than it looks. So if you want to put your middle name, by all means do so. Preferred first name. Um, if you applied with a different last name in the past, you want to put your last name. And your date of birth came over. Let us know your birth gender. And what's the next thing you need to fill out? is we have your phone number your email address okay mailing address if your current address is different than your permanent address select yes and fill out your address otherwise skip this section or click no okay and now we're on the demographics tab you want to make sure you let us know your citizenship status and social security number. You're not required to use your social security number on this form. However, if you if you don't do that, there will be an extra step at the end um, that I'll walk you through and show you what to do. The other issue with um, not using your social security number is that when it comes time for you to get an official transcript from Tunxis, which you will definitely want to do when you um, uh, start to do your college applications because you'll want to get credit at whatever college you go to for this class you're taking. If you haven't used your social security number, it is a little bit more challenging to get this transcript in an automated way. If you choose not to use your social security number, again, which is fine, you'll just need to re reach out to our records office at Tunxis, which is tx-records at tungsis.edu in order to get a copy, in order to have your, have your password reset to get your transcript. So it, 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 neither way, either way, it's not a, a, big, a big problem. We, it's a problem we know that's easy to solve. So we're not gonna put in our social security number here. And let us know your first language. Mine is English. And then, um, optional ethnic information and save and continue. Now we're on academics and again you are your first name is still in the upper corner and you are high school partnership high school other. Your admit type is again your high school other. And then for other dual enrollment pro enrollment program, you are HS slash Tunxis dual credit. Very important um, so that we can make sure you get your credit assigned appropriately. We're going to pass through the courses requested and the data sharing, feel free to read. Uh, read through that. If you want to do the data sharing, you would click yes here and enter your state assigned school identification number, also known as your SACID. It's a 10 digit number. Um, what, it, what it allows for, as explained in the paragraph, is for data exchange. So for example, when you take SATs, 
it would allow, if the process has been set up, it would allow for your SATs to be transmitted automatically to Texas Community College. So I'm putting a SACET in there. Your high school came through, all your expect your dates regarding your graduation, et cetera, have all come through. So we will save and continue. And we are on your parent guardian section. Now, your parent and guardian have already completed a paper copy of their permission form. What we do is we just have you take the information on that form and transfer it into here. So we're just going to say um, parent guardian first name, my, my guardian, and their phone number, their relationship to you their signature, my guardian, and today's date. All right, then we're gonna move on. And again, your name's still in the upper right-hand corner, so we're, we're on the right track, and we're on the attestation and signature page. What you should do is read through this page, read through the attestations, and choose yes or no. I've read them several times, so I'm gonna choose yes and I'm going to sign. And today's date, and I'm going to submit my application. Okay, and it's telling me, welcome smashing, get started. So we start off, we see that we've done our application here. We are a fall 21 uh, Tunxis High School Partnership or High School Other. And we will want to view the action we need to take. And we're going to take a look at our supplemental items and documents. So if you remember back, we chose not to use our social security number. So because we chose not to provide our, our social security number, we do need to do the social security election form. So you click on start. And it is an electronic form that gets submitted directly to Tunxess. So please read through and enter your first name. If you did use your social security number on the application, you will not be asked to complete this form. If you have applied um, at Tunxis before for another um, dual enrollment program, so uh, you know whether we have several types of programs, so if you have a banner ID or a student ID, you'll want to enter it here. And now we have three choices about why you didn't provide it. You can choose to provide it, in which case you need to get us a copy of your social security card. You can still decline to provide it, not a problem, or you don't have it. So I'm gonna say I decline, and I'm gonna sign. And the date is 10-1, ten, ten there we go and you're going to submit it. And you'll see that that is going to go directly to Tunxa. So you see, successfully submitted. Fantastic. Back to supplemental items and documents. And you can see that submission status is received. The next item we're going to do is the parental support. And we are going to do it electronically. Let your parents know that it is coming. And this is really for Tunxa's record. So I am my guardian. It's my name, my email is my guardian and you will need to waive your access but you might want to say something nice to your parent or guardian so that they will complete this request for you okay so you can see that we have already um, requested that my guardian um, complete the um, support form it's been sent out on October 1st so now we need to do the school counselor verification. And again, we are not going to complete it with your school counselor information. We'll complete it with your instructor information. And, and my instructor's email address. And then you're going to waive my right to access um, this recommendation. So say something nice to your instructor. Um, make sure that they do recommend you for the program. And you submit that request as well. All right. So you have submitted 
the documents we've asked you to. You've done your social security election form, you've sent out your parental uh, support form, and you have asked your instructor for permission to take the class. Just wanna show you a couple more things. If you click up here on events and scroll down a little bit, there is a search, a way to search for different events. But I just wanted to let you know while we're here, the Connecticut State Community College Showcase is coming on October 21st, and that is for all 12 community colleges will participate. And Tungsis will be having our open house on campus on Thursday, October 28th. The Connecticut State Showcase is a virtual event. So you can click on these and register um, to participate. So at this point, we do, you would be on apply online is where, whoop, let's say we were, we were on events. And so we do want you to sign out, no matter whether you're at your house or whether you're at a, another, a computer at school, you wanna make sure you sign out. And then you end up landing on the sign in page. You can see sign in here. If you want to log in and check on the status of how whether your parents have completed their electronic support form or your teacher has given permission, you can log on and check. So we're done for today. I hope you enjoy your dual enrollment or du dual credit program, and I hope I get to see you at Texas sometime. Take care. Have a great experience in your class.